but they often get their wish and they're allowed to witness what's little more than a medical procedure. Now, my feeling is, if you're going to let people watch some guy get executed, it will make much more sense to put on a little show for these ghouls. Entertain them. Place the guy in a small steel room and send in four or five of these sadistic prison guards with steel pipes and let them beat the guy to death for about an hour. A constant, uninterrupted 60-minute clubbing would seem far more in keeping with our national values. And of course, this method would be much more satisfying to the families of these so-called victims. These fine, upstanding religious families who believe in a merciful God. They'd enjoy watching these psychotic, animalistic prison guards doing what comes naturally, administering a nice, brutal clubbing. Prison guards who, by the way, dare I say, are also all fine, upstanding religious people as well. Folks, if you're going to do these things, don't settle for halfway measures. Do them right. Do them the Christian way. As a public service, next weekend, Boy Scouts will be picking up litter and trash from America's highways and dumping it in America's rivers. If you'd like to pitch in and help the Boy Scouts, bring some of your own trash from home and throw it out the window of your car as you drive along your favorite road. You'll be doing your part to keep the highways clean. By the way, if you have any ideas about cleaning up the rivers, let us know. I'm tired of these Canadians who have worked in the American news media for years and still haven't learned to pronounce the words out and about. Peter Jennings is one of them, and there are about three or four more prominent ones. These people need to be taught that it's out and about, not oot and aboot. I say if you can't learn the language, it's about time you got the fuck out of here. Besides, Canadians are just disguised English people, and it's a well-known fact that all English people deserve to die. Things I wonder about the FBI's list of the ten most wanted criminals. When they catch a guy and he comes off the list, does number 11 automatically move up? And does he see it as a promotion? Does he call his criminal friends and say, I made it, Bruno. I'm finally on the list. How about when a new, really dangerous guy comes along and they absolutely have to put him at the top of the list without delay? Call it number one with a bullet, if you wish. Doesn't everyone else have to move down a notch? And doesn't one guy get dropped off? How do they decide which guy to drop? Is it automatically number 10? And how does he feel about that? Does he feel slighted? Does he feel maybe it should have been someone else? Has anyone who was demoted ever killed the new guy to gain his spot back? One last question. Does the FBI search harder for number three than they do for number seven? I would. Otherwise, why have the numbers at all? These are the kind of thoughts that keep me from making any real progress in life. There are too many people, period. There have always been too many people from the beginning. If these diaper-sniffing Christian baby mongers would stop having so many of these cross-eyed little kids, maybe the rest of us would have a chance to spread out and have a little fun. Excess children waste our natural resources. If this society wants me to conserve energy, it had better get some of these child-worshipping religious fanatics to stop having five, six, or seven babies. When they do that, I'll start turning off the lights. And yeah, I know the fertility rate is down. Good. It should go down even further. Every family should be allowed half a child. If that. I live in Los Angeles. Who are all these guys in their 20s out on the streets skateboarding at 2 and 3 in the afternoon? Their 20s. Get off the streets and find work, motherfucker. And by the way, I'm not talking about X Games guys who are really good at it. That's different. That's a way of life. I'm talking about these skateboard fucks who look like they're actually going somewhere. As if the skateboard were a means of transportation. What the fuck's the deal with these guys? Same with these rollerblading and scooter fucks. Why are these fully grown men out on the street playing with children's toys during working hours? And wearing helmets, for Christ's sakes. Jesus, I would be so embarrassed to wear a helmet. Grow up, motherfucker. And while you're at it, stay out of the range of my car. I might just decide to run some consumer tests on those helmets. I might also decide to clear the streets of all non-essential traffic. So get a job, 
or play on the sidewalk with the rest of the kids. I find I'm starting to get more compassionate. I gotta watch that. Children's Hospital in New York is quite an amazing place. On a recent visit, I saw two seven-year-olds performing a kidney transplant. Be careful whom you befriend. They will eventually ask you for something. When she was getting fucked by Roy Rogers, do you think Dale Evans ever screamed, Giddy up, Roy? Here's a dead-end business. A shoeshine stand at the beach. Mexico has a new holiday known as the name-calling fiesta. People dress up in colorful costumes and do a series of folk dances while they call each other cocksucker and motherfucker. Then they all get drunk and eat a big meal. Michael Jackson missed his calling. If he had become a Catholic priest, he could have spent 30 or 40 years blowing all the little boys he wanted. And no one would have said a word. Hard work is a misleading term. Physical effort and long hours don't really constitute hard work. Hard work is when someone pays you to do something you'd rather not be doing. Anytime you'd rather be doing something other than the thing you're doing, you're doing hard work. Cosmologists are just now beginning to accept the possibility that the Big Bang was actually caused by a huge explosion in a meth lab. Hello, I'm Howard Finely, and I'm running for state's attorney general. This is my pledge to you. If I am elected and someone breaks the law, I will personally go to his house and beat the shit out of him. Thank you. Why does it always take longer to get somewhere than it does to come back? Hey, what's with these recumbent bicycles? Listen, buddy, if you want to take a nap, lie down. If you want to ride a bike, buy a fucking bicycle. I prefer people with imagination, dictators, serial killers, schizophrenics, assassins, skinheads, drug lords, violent bikers, devil worshippers. To me, these are the interesting people. To get its edge back, I think what America really needs is more evil. Intense, unalloyed, concentrated evil. I was reading a fitness magazine that had an article about cross-training. And I realized this would have been a good idea for Jesus. People who see life as anything more than pure entertainment are missing the point. I'll tell you one thing. The future ain't what it used to be. Wouldn't it be fun if all at once everybody just forgot everything they knew? These professional child worshippers say we should put the needs of children first. Why? What about the needs of adults? We come second? It's stupid. If you put the needs of children first, you're going to wind up with way too many diapers and lollipops and not nearly enough bongs and condoms. What happened? Washington, Jefferson, Franklin, Madison, Adams, Hamilton. Things were going well. Ford, Quayle, Mondale, Agnew, Nixon, Clinton, Dole, Bush one, Bush two. What happened? This morning I had a great idea, but it was too late to put it into the book. I just wanted you to know that this is where it would have gone. True fact. There's a radio commercial that says a certain diet pill works three times faster than starvation. Here's my question. Are they guessing, or did they really run these tests? Here's something you can't do by yourself. Practice shaking hands. Stop in today at Ann Bennington's Quality Cyst Removal. Regular cysts, five dollars. Really big, difficult cysts, a dollar a pound. Ann Bennington's Cyst Removal for the Discerning. This is the optimist. I have no friends, no family, no money, no food, no job, no credit, no luck, no hope, and no future. However, I do have matches, toothpicks, chewing gum, paper clips, rubber bands, shoelaces, and scotch tape. Maybe things aren't so bad after all. Am I the only one who thinks the Muppets weren't funny? If you have twins, a good idea is to sell one of them. What the fuck, you got two. Why not pick up a few dollars? When child abuser Father John Gagan was killed in prison, he was 68 years old. 
If a psychic had attended his ordination some forty years earlier and told his parents, when John is sixty-eight he will be strangled to death in prison while serving time for touching children's penises, at the very least there would have been a small commotion. True fact, there is now a gay softball World Series. A children's museum sounds like a good idea, but I would imagine it's not very easy to breathe inside the little glass cases. Why is it? The only time you ever hear the word figment, it's in relation to the imagination. Aren't there any other kinds of figments? If everyone in the world sat quietly at the same time, closed their eyes, and concentrated as hard as they could on peace and goodwill, all the killing and cruelty in the world would continue and probably increase.